So when we get a dysbiosis and when we get a parasite uh, infection, what happens to our guts is an inflammation response. Um, often that generate a reduction of the production of mucus. That's the reason why this parasite and this bacteria, they can reach the gut wall. As we said before, the mucus is important as a barrier to avoiding uh, this uh, contact and to make sure that we're filtering which kind of bacteria we want to let them in or out because some bacteria they can actually help you out with the lung health so your body will allow this bacteria to travel but some others might not be as uh, happy to be there and when these bacteria these pathogens they touch the wall they starting to act on something called tight junction now in between the cells we have in some little gaps and those gaps, they are like sort of uh, locks, um, how do you call, channels, you know? They opening and close and they allow the in and out, the flows of nutrients, water, uh, and different vitamins that they might have been produced in the gut. And they allow them in and out. Now, when this tight junction, they uh, stop closing back, they allow any sort of stuff to reach your bloodstream. And that is generate an influx of, for example, undigested food or bacterial or toxin uh, or free radicals, then they shouldn't be on the gut in the first place. And those ones, they will raise your immunity system and it will generate all those problems that they are linked with the leaky gut. Now, with the leaky, leaky guts, there is some people then they believe they are the roots of autoimmune disease, and some other than they think that the autoimmune disease they are the roots of the leaky guts. Because they are constantly on the same time, we don't know what to start with first. So it's a little bit like the chicken and the egg. So what we know for sure is that treating the leaky guts will reduce the symptom of the autoimmune diseases. So either way, treating the leaky guts has a fantastic effect on autoimmune disease and other immune um, uh, other diseases that we will see in a second. Then they develop during uh, a leaky gut episode. As much as it sounds scary, leaky gut can be cured, can be reversed. Uh, we, we need a bit of time. We need a little bit of um, passion and uh, being cautious. And we need to be a bit strict, but it can be overcome. And that is the, the really positive side. Triggering of the leaky gut, as we say, can be from food allergies. For example, if you are gluten intolerant, that gluten will have that negative impact and it will generate the leaky gut, uh, low acid on the stomach, as I say, no killing the bacterial that they might affect us automatically will generate a growth of this bacterial and generate the inflammation which will uh, then uh, progress into leaky gut. Uh, bad digestion in general, you might not produce proper enzyme to break down your food or you might not have the acid to break down the food on, on first place. So once you reach the guts, all these undigest food will have an impact on your uh, microflora and will have an impact on the overall health of your gut. As we mentioned before, for the dysbiosis, antibiotic and other medicinal, high blood sugar, we mentioned it before, an autoimmune disease. That's why I'm saying to you some, we don't know what's that first, but as example, we know that Crohn, it's an autoimmune disease, and one of the main symptoms is leaky gut. So uh, what did it start first? It was a leaky gut, then it become a Crohn, or it was a Crohn, which is genet you are genetically programmed to, then it's generating the leaky gut. We don't know what to start first, but we can act on it anyway. During pregnancy, we can have a lot of dysbiosis due to the fact that uh, the space uh, and the organs uh, is changed into our body, generate a pressure and uh, reducing the, um, the digestive process. Menopause, change of uh, hormonal balance, we know it will generate a uh, disbalance on the flora. Toxic exposure, 
It can be toxin from other bacteria. It can be toxin from pesticides or fertilizer, and obviously stress. All these together and many other uh, more causes, they create this tight junction to open up, stay open, and allow all this stuff, and it shouldn't pass it through the gut's walls into the bloodstream, creating a rise of your immune system and generate uh, different uh, complaints.